Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I'm back for a low vision spotlight video today. And this time we're looking at a really weird game called Loco Cycle. This is a game that I learned about, I think they first announced it in 2012, maybe at some point. And originally it was going to be, I think, a 360 game. And then when they really, when Microsoft started talking about the Xbox One, uh, it, it became, they're like, okay, well, this is probably going to come to that. Uh, and they, then they eventually switched it over to being an Xbox One game. But uh, a few months ago they said, oh yeah, by the way, we'll give you guys a Steam version as well for the PC. So <clears throat> that is what we're looking at here. Loco Cycle. Now this game is, like I said, it's a weird one. <laughs> it's... I'm going to just call it an action driving game. Because it's not a race. It's not You're not racing, per se. You are driving. But you're doing a lot more than driving. Um as you'll soon find out. So this game is just really weird. Um, you know, main menu wise, everything is really clean, uh, really easy to see, no problem there. The one thing that I initially didn't like, and I don't know what the trend is, or I don't know why this is trending lately, but a lot of PC games I'm noticing uh, in the last several months, when you run them for the first time, they are they run in windowed mode mode they're not running in full screen and i don't really know why that is i mean especially for like if you're running if you're playing like a little casual game you know uh you're just clicking on a few things while you're while you're doing something else maybe watching a chat window or whatever you're doing on the side that works fine but for a game like this or any you know any kind of uh major game why wouldn't you run that full screen and it just it kind of bugs me i guess so I did go under options and change that and tweak the graphics settings a little bit, but um, aside from the whole really being really tiny in windowed mode, not really a problem after that. So, Loco Cycle, like I said, it's a driving game, kind of a brawler, and a shooting game, and all kinds of other weird nonsense all rolled into one, and you'll soon see why. Um, story-wise, I probably won't be able to talk a whole lot depending on the level that we're in because the bike that you're, you, that you're uh, piloting is kind of chatty. Um, basically, I kind of would call it like a mixture between uh, Short Circuit, Knight Rider, and a little bit of Portal thrown in there just because of the way the robot talks and sounds. Or not the robot, but the the bike. So the gist of the game is, is that in the beginning you have these live action cutscenes that happen throughout the game as well to kind of move the story forward. So it's kind of that, you know, that kind of era game. Um, but basically they do this unveiling of these new bikes. You have Iris and Spike, these new basically really fancy bikes that have AI in them and whatnot. Uh, I say short circuit because after the after their presentation, they get, uh, she gets struck by lightning, and yeah, things go crazy from there. Um, Knight Rider, because you have, like I said, Iris and Spike, which is kind of the nemesis bike, the kit car to the, you know, kit and car from Knight Rider sort of thing. And then the bike itself, um, like I said, the Gladys thing. So let's just jump right into single player. And we're not going to continue because, oh boy, um, I'll probably show you that maybe at the end of the video where I'm actually at. I have not beat the game yet. I'm pretty far in. But, yeah, it's a doozy. Um, there are parts of the game that can be a little bit hard to see. And uh, the level that I'm currently on is sort of that way. And I'll show you that here shortly. So we don't want to do the prologue. Let's do level one. Um, we'll do level one, two, just because we can get into the game a little bit. 
so it won't be quite as, you know, it's pretty easy toward the beginning, but it gets really hard later on, or at least some of the parts are a little bit frustrating. So we're loading up the level here. I'm going to be playing Iris, this uh, motorcycle. Here we go. 1-2. Oh yeah, did I mention? You're pulling your mechanic behind you. Oh, we get to do this again. Hold on, Pablo. Time to take a slight detour. <laughs> oh, okay, we got some quick times here. Hold on, I'll explain something here shortly. Okay, quick time. Okay. So those are pretty... Oh, I did it too early. Come on, weak. All right, now we're moving. Oops. <laughs> right. So, yeah, basically the premise is... Oh, cool, I have my upgraded weapons and stuff, too. I should do way better now. That is what I thought, Pablo. I knew you were a peaceful man. I can tell by all of the praying you are doing back there. So right now I'm shooting, like I said, there is a combination of driving, shooting. I don't have to use the accelerator right now because it just pilots on its own. But when... Oh yeah, here we go. So these things are going so fast right now. Okay, I'm going to pause it here for a sec. Um, so basically, like I said, things are moving so fast. The bike moves by itself, um, but when I hold the A button or the right trigger down, you go into that kind of like zoomed in kind of over the shoulder kind of look where you're like going really a lot faster. So you can boost that way um, right now. And then if I use the B button, I shoot. Normally, you're, you, know, you when you start out, when I get to this level, the, the gun wouldn't be near as good. Um, but it's letting me go back and play these levels with my upgrades, which I'll show you the upgrade screen after I finish this level. Um, but yeah, you, so your bike is not only this kind of sentient bike now, but basically, um, yeah, when your mechanic is um, ordered to fix the bike, um, he gets uh, hooked to Iris and... Yeah, he's going along for the ride. So you got this mechanic that only speaks Spanish, and Pablo, and he is basically tied to you, um, which is really kind of weird. And in, even in game logic, because like the guy's not wearing any special uniform or anything. Um, I don't know how he's still alive, but there you go, game logic for you. So here we got another kind of weird twist on the gameplay. Let's see how badly I suck at this. Okay. Mm. There we go. Did it. All right. Cool. Took me a while to figure out what I was actually supposed to do for that one. So Scottsburg, what that is, is they're going to the, uh, when he was going to be, when the, when Pablo was going to fix the bike, Okay, hold on. Ah, shoot. Okay, I failed that one. When Pablo was supposed to fix the bike, the bike saw the... Ah! <laughs> she saw this advertisement for some bike rally, and so she just kind of took off and said, Nope, I need to be there. Alright, so I beat that leg of the level. How'd I do? Alright, B, I can live with that. So each one of these, you know, one, 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 two, uh, there's three, three levels per chapter, essentially. You have the first two levels, which are broken up into these little chunks. And then the third level is typically a boss fight of some sort. And yes, this game has boss fights. And yes, they are weird. So let's just keep going and see what other kind of craziness we get going here. Thank you for asking, Pablo. 
However, I am quite all right. Iris, por favor. Los seres humanos no pueden conducirse así. I am surprised. You sense it as well. But you are correct. We are approaching a sizable incline shortly. Iris, por favor, no! <laughs> He hates these jumps. Like I said, this guy should be dead. His clothes and body should be ripped to shreds by this point. <laughs> Whee! Oh. So, when you first start this game, the handling is... Hold on. Hold on. Oops. Oh, here we go, more combat. The health bar is above him. So, um, both your boost and your, uh, your weaponry have a cooldown, so you can only use them so much, and then they have to recharge, but you do have basically infinite boost and infinite ammo. Oh, you, okay. But what I was saying is the handling is a little squirrely. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, yeah? You get... There we go. <laughs> That's what happens when they get on top of you. Let's cruise along. Oh. Oh. And, by the way, did I mention your bike can kung fu fight in midair? <laughs> yeah, it can. So we have this weird mid-air brawler mechanic, too. This game is just weird. It's by T Twisted Pixel, who originally made um, like the Ma comic jumper. I'm trying to remember if they did the, the Explosion Man games as well. I can't remember. Um, but those are all kind of weird games, especially Comic Jumper. Oh, hey, okay, I'll live with that. Is Do better. What they say about Scottsburg, Indiana, Pablo, that the grass is green, the skies are Whoa. blue, and that everyone is very healthy. Por favor, Dios, suéltame. Of course you are coming, Pablo. We ride together, always, forever. Hold on, Pablo. What do we have here? Oh, what do we, yeah, what do we have here? Last chance. Pull over now. Uh, okay, I wonder if... Shall we indulge oh, yeah, this one. Okay. I gotta get close enough. Like that? Oh. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Wow. That was way easier. Because my combat has been so far upgraded. Come on, jump up. There we go. But yeah, the handling, like I said, it's really arcadey. It's really loose. Um, which can be frustrating, especially when every little hit counts in a few of the later levels. But mostly isn't too big of a problem. There we go. Oh, did that wrong. There we go. Oh, yeah? Ow. I was trying to get one of those special attacks off. Alright, I'll catch you. Come here, buddy. Uh huh. Whoops. Oh, I hope I didn't run out of charge. Come on, let me get up to him. Shooter ran out. No, 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 no. Here we go. Holy crap. This is way easier than the first time I played this level. I can actually get a bunch of money now. Oh, okay, more of these guys. So you you drive, you shoot, you use some of this crazy martial arts stuff, but they do mix it up some. Like I said, there's all kinds of twists on this, and there's almost like little mini games. There's some quick time event areas. Um, just all kinds of different stuff to mix things up a little bit. Oh, okay, we're doing this again? Alright. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> duck, duck, goose. <laughs> Boom. Done. 
Alright, probably did okay on that. Eh, B. I'm sure it's better than I had before. Scottsburg, Indiana. The streets are paved with flags. I hear that freedom rides an eagle. Which rides a motorcycle. It is beautiful. <sighs> yeah, if you say so, Iris. All right, mission complete. So every time you beat a full level, I give... Um, all right, got an A overall. Oh, I can live with that. Ooh. So once I do that, I'm given this upgrade screen, and I can upgrade my melee ability. I can upgrade my health and things like that. And I can upgrade my weapons. So, any game like this, if I'm given a choice, especially because I, you never know what's going to happen, I'm a huge sucker for... Um, I'm just going to use the mouse this quicker. Uh, I'm a huge sucker for upgrading any kind of health-esque thing. Alright, so... Ooh, fully upgrade. Oh, I can't do it. Alright. I want to I wanna max out this... Uh, branch of the skill tree here. I've got one to finish up on top and then one down there uh, on the bottom right so of the tree. So this the, this text here can be a little bit harder to see if you know because it blends into the background a little bit. Uh, it's a little small but the little picture in the lower left kind of gives you an idea every time I move over something it'll kind of show you what that kind of thing does. Like if I go down to, let's go here for instance. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. But I can choose from all these different skills. Um, you know, I'm a good, I would say, two-thirds of the way through the game, and I've, you know, you you can see I've got this, let's see, this tree is pretty close to being done. This one I've got quite a few, but I'm doing okay. Quite a few left on this one, too. So I really don't think, I'm, you're probably, if you want to max out everything, you're going to have to go back and play some of the levels over. Uh, a lot of the levels that I beat... Some of them, um, I would finish the level, but I really didn't do very well. I got like D's or C's or a couple F's in there. Um, but you still pass. You're just uh, given a grade rating. Let's see what this boss level is. And then I think I want to take you to another level, show you a little bit of a different environment, maybe a couple of other mechanics. And then I'll show you where, I'm, where I left off in the game. So this should be a boss level. I think... Oh, yeah, you get to meet Spike. Why is there so much wrong in the world? I'm is pretty sure. Is it because sure. of opposing political party? Or is it just the work of opposing political party leader? Estás jugando. En serio? They may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom. Independence. Prerogative. She loves to quote movies and talk about movies. Hello, friend. Are you going to the Freedom Rally as well? Are you crazy? This is your last warning. Pull over now! Ow! Spike! Greetings, deserter. Spike, I insist you listen to me and try not to trip out. I will not be Big Arms Mama anymore. <laughs> now I live for the open road. Babes, bikes, and frosty beverages. Iris! Your open road can only lead to two possible destinations. Por favor, Spike. Soy yo, Pablo. No estoy con ella. Te lo juro, por favor. One, to our creators, where you will beg their forgiveness. And two? Two, the junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have boss battle. So I gotta remember how this works. Okay, I can't boost... I can shoot. Uh oh. Uh there is no escape for you and your tiny human. Okay. Surrender. 
Uh huh. Okay, I think I remember what I'm supposed to do. Come here, buddy. And come on. I thought I. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot him for now. I thought I had to charge him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, attack! <laughs> You're not equipped with the latest virus. Too bad for you. Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention. Quick times. Damn it, I do it too early. Okay. Not even close. Okay, I'll do better. There we go. One more quick times. Okay, I still can't boost. Good God. Oh shit. Okay, I did. I, that was I totally screwed that up. More quick times. Here we are. All right. Now we're talking. <laughs> Pablo. Are you due for a checkup? <laughs> Offensive systems. Oh, attack! Good lord. I suppose it really would help if I paid attention. And see what happens. Oh, these stupid ass landmines. Okay. Ever seen a set this big before? I got my awesome weapon. Oh man, this is so much better with my great spread gun. Hell yeah, this is great. Retribution is here. So much easier this time. Eat this. Boom. That could have gone better. Yeah, that could have gone way better. But you know what? I got a little bit more money. And I got. Oh, oh Jesus. God, pay it. There we go. There we go. Let's attack. Welcome to the gun show. They do a pretty good job of they, you know, the developers, they want you to make it feel like a movie. There we are. So they do a pretty good job of that. Sometimes it's just all the craziness going on. You really don't know what the heck to do. Or you're not ready for a quick time event because it's just super nuts. But, uh, yeah. This is Loco Cycle. I got a spread gun. You can't hurt me with your landmines or whatever they are. It's a sick spread gun. Ah! Okay. Uh, so you want me to do that again? Okay. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Shoot him, dodge him. Okay. Okay, see there's my my ammo ran out. I gotta let it recharge. There we go. Knock him out again. Attack. <laughs> it's martial arts fighting as motorcycles. So ridiculous. Get over there. Oh, more attacks? Alright. Boom. You can drive, Iris, but you can't hide. No. I will find you. <coughs> All right. Well, that could have gone better, but there you go. You got to meet Spike, and you got to see. Oh, well, still did okay, but um, you got to see Iris. You got to see Spike. And a boss battle, so 
tell you what, let's try to see if we can finish Shazam. Okay, that one isn't unlocked. I haven't, I don't know what I have to do to do that. Uh, what other one do, uh, let's finish this one that I started up here. Ah, okay, I won't finish it. But anyway, let's uh, save it. Now, we'll go on to 2-1, uh, and you'll see one of the cutscenes here. But then I'll switch out, and I'll switch to... I'll show you at least part of one more level. Look at the vast celestial formations, Pablo. <laughs> I've only seen them before in maps of the sky on my computer. Look! There's Virgo, the virgin, carrying her two sheaths of wheat. And oh, there's Bo Otis, the plowman. Pablo, can the skies in Scottsburg, Indiana, be as beautiful? Por favor, Iris, me vas a matar. Oh, Pablo, you wear your wisdom with such noble modesty. Cool looking bike. I like the glowy blue. <clears throat> oh yeah. Well, human, this is a matter of great urgency. My fellow two-wheeler has found herself a powerful human ally to aid in her escape. I must commandeer your person to level that advantage. <laughs> Tell me, if you were traveling these roads with Iris, where would you stop for food or supplies? Well, the Cheyenne Valley Arts and Crafts Festival is going on now in Warrensville. Yeah. And she's just like, yeah, okay, whatever. And if the uh, Cheyenne Valley Arts and Crafts Festival. Is I don't mind being dragged behind this bike. Then the I'm Cheyenne good. Valley Arts <laughs> and Crafts <laughs> Festival is where we shall set our trap. <laughs> so yeah, Spike is Spike's answer is Pablo, hmm. Okay, I just need a human. I agree. I also thought it lacked the charm and finesse of the first film. Although I will admit the voodoo curse that made the dead man Bernie dance was very hilarious. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Yeah, Weekend at Bernie's 1 was better, actually. I didn't like 2 as much. So, even though this is pretty fun, let's go ahead and we're going to stop. And we'll go to the main menu. <clears throat> I, I want to show you at least part of one of the later levels, because this, like I said, this level just gets, or this game gets really tough um, in some areas. Well, either that or I s just really suck, which is entirely possible. I am in... Let's see, I'm finished... Yeah, okay, so I'm finishing up... 4-3 is the boss that I'm stuck on right now, and... Oh, I think it's doable, it's just... I don't, like, that's one level where I think visually... I do have some trouble. I'm going to go into 5 or 4 2 a little bit just so you can see. A, hopefully, we'll have a couple other mechanics and you'll see a few other enemies and another environment and stuff like that. So, like I said, the, all this should give you plenty of a, an idea of what this game is like. Uh, really arcadey, really absurd, and uh, just really unique. Not what you would expect from a motorcycle driving game. Okay, so now we're heading toward the... Oh. Alright, so we're gonna go off-road a little bit. Which way are we going here? Okay. Oh god, I think 
Yeah, I think after this blockade part, I think I know what's coming up. So I want to get to this blockade as soon as I can. Yep, here we go. Take out our blockade. Yeah, this part sucks. Because there's a few parts of the level where... <clears throat> the problem is... You do have checkpoints, but sometimes they're not as frequent as you might like. So I'm gonna fight these guys. These guys are a lot tougher. Not okay, you're blown up. It's the next part that I wanna show you. Be a miracle if I actually beat it the first time, but something tells me. Yeah, there's the thing I wanted. <laughs> so ridiculous. Boom. Come on, kill him. There we go. Okay. Okay, now we gotta take out some vehicles. Never fear, Pablo. You can always count on my steel. Oh, I love this new gun that I have. It just kills guys so much faster. Come on. Take out that guy. And that guy, and I just ran out of freaking ammo, or, it, or it, I need to recharge. You're dead. Alright. Alright, here's the part. The, these little, this little mini game kind of sucks. So you get these orb guys. They're, and they get, ah! They get electrical like that. Ah, shit. No! Not doing very good. Okay, and then they stop for a while. You can beat the crap out of them. Come on. So then they go to this again. Now I gotta dodge. Before oh, geez. That didn't go well. Come on. Uh-oh. I'm so gonna die. Ah, yep. Ugh. So then, I, when I start, I have to start all the way back here again. So I have to do well at these uh, at this uh, air combat here. Then I gotta shoot the guys <clears throat> and hopefully have enough health left over to get through those stupid electrical ball things. So there's another level. Uh, there's a few other mechanics. Uh, another little mini game for you to check out. I think I'm going to wrap this up by, I am going to show you where I left off and probably do horribly. Now what makes this part kind of obnoxious, at least for me, is that, you know, up to this point I've shown you actual just, you know, shooting as you're driving. You know, you shoot in front of you, you try to keep whoever in your sights, and you're good to go. There are a few parts where you are actually in some mode, whether driving or in some other weird situations I won't spoil for you. But you actually have a targeting reticle that you have to move around the screen and aim. So... That can sometimes be, you know, I mean, sometimes it's easier to see, but if you lose track of it, at least if, if I do, if I lose track of this stupid little reticle, um, you know, it just makes things a lot harder to work with because I'll either get hit a lot or I'll lose time finding it. And then, then I will get hit a lot. Um, that kind of thing. Like there was a part where I had to basically shoot a whole bunch of targets in this mode. And then this is I got to fight this ginormous boss. So here is the boss level I'm currently kind of having some trouble with. A 
I don't remember if we start the boss part right away or if we have to first. Watch yourself! Don't let her get around. Uh, How about go f yourself? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yep, here's Biggin. This guy's a pain in the ass. So, now I have to shoot this guy. Okay, so here's our reticle. And we have the same thing where it can overheat. So now I gotta shoot. Ah, come on. See if I, I can move it over. Um, okay, what are we doing here? I gotta remember how this works again. Okay, yeah, I got this target. That target. Okay, and now. If I remember right. Yep. So it's kind of easy. Oh, geez. Yeah, that was terrible. I'm not doing well at all. Okay, take that out. Take that out. That. That went better this time. So, yeah, it's just really kind of easy to lose track of that stupid crosshair. At least kind of for me it is, so... Uh, okay, yep, now we're going to start this mode again. Okay. Now we got to fight new targets. So, once I... If I either I beat this or if I die, whatever happens, we're going to call it at the end of this one. Hit it. Yeah, there we go. That actually went fairly well. Hit it. Hit it. It's so touchy, too. Ah, shoot. I was trying to get that other, the one on the right, but... Okay, let's see, what are we going to do now? Oh, God, no, not more of these. Shit. Oh, that's not good. I completely whiffed that. Ah, okay. Two. Look, three. Quit moving. Oh, really? No, don't. Okay. I was going to say, don't freaking run out on me. That. That is just. Get that guy. Come on. There we go. Hit him. Damn it. Oh. Now I got to Now I got to fight more of these. I bet. Yeah. Can't really talk. Shit. Okay, what's going on here? God, quit moving. Well, I'm not gonna get this for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna die here. Cause yeah. That was ugly. I I made some really bad mistakes. So now I have to start over. And um, yeah, I mean, there's no other bosses. Really, uh, I guess one of them, one or two of them have checkpoints. But so far, this one has not, unfortunately. So anyway, that should give you more than a, you know, more than enough of a look at what this game is all about. It is Loco Cycle. It is available on Steam. Is it? A, it is also available on the Xbox One, and I don't know. They were talking about making it available or a version of it available on the 360. I don't know if that is the case yet. However, so 
Xbox One and PC for sure. So that is Loco Cycle. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And until next time, I will chat with you guys again later.